Hey, how's it going guys? So I just wanted to make this quick little video just to talk about the new hiring for the Red Sox, uh, Shine Bloom. Uh, I'm really actually excited about this hiring. Um, <clears throat> as a diehard Red Sox fan, I haven't really been like knowing too too much about like who the specific general managers that they were that they were hiring um because we had theo epstein and then we had ben Sherrington. i didn't really know who he was until he made all those cool kind of moves but then he signed pablo sandoval and hanley ramirez and that really kind of like ruined his reputation um and then dave dabrowski i knew who he was um just because of the tigers um and we had faced them with miguel cabrera and he really built such a powerhouse um, but it's it's interesting seeing how the team is now. Um, we don't have a farm system, you know. We're way over the payroll, um, and we have a lot of talented players. But we just we're just in a standstill state because we had such a awful season last week, very last year, very embarrassing. Um, I actually really want to make a video talking about what I believe the offseason needs are for the Red Sox. I'm probably going to do that with a lot of the other teams that I believe have a lot um, to work on this offseason. I'm really excited for that video. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk about uh, Shine Bloom. Um, he was the vice president of baseball operations for the Rays. Uh, and I really think that that will be able to help the Red Sox out a lot um, because he was able to work with a low payroll. Um, and really be behind um, Andrew Friedman and also um, the, the, the new general manager for the Rays, who's really um, done a great job of being able to put them from, they had like 70 wins three years ago, then they had 90 wins, and then now they have 96. And now they also have the third best farm system in the MLB. And so if this guy is able to figure out what we should do with Mookie Betts and also be able to get some productive players if we're able to f um, for a trade for Mookie Betts, I believe... He's the most trusted person that I would want um, to be able to run our, our franchise uh, for this next pivotal offseason for the next future five years. You know, I, f I feel like that um, this offseason is really going to um, give us a screenshot of what's going to be happening for the next five years. Because, you know, we have David Price, we have Sale, and then we have Ivaldi at the top of our rotation uh, for the next five years. And then same with Xander. He's there with us. Benintendi's with us for the next two years, you know, it's it's just there's a lot of people that are still going to be here It's just we need to figure out what we're going to be doing with JD What we're going to be doing with the bullpen what we're going to be doing with the starting pitching and you know I mean he's been behind they've they've had a revolutionary sort of way of bringing up their uh, pitchers from within and being able to make them absolutely amazing like Chris Archer James Shields, Jeremy Hellickson, um, David Price, um, Matt Garza, like the, Jake Odorizzi, the list goes on, you know. Um, it's pretty crazy how, how they've been able to really get these very young pitchers um, and be able to make them very productive. And it'd be really cool to be able to see if he, um, if Bloom is able to bring these guys in uh, that'll be able to change the whole culture uh, for the Red Sox. And I think it's, it's really interesting how he's 36 years old. So I think that'll bring a new young life uh, to the franchise, um, aside from D Dave Dombrowski's sort of old-fashioned way of um, being a president of baseball operations. Um, the one thing that I am kind of nervous about is how he's going to be able to um, control himself from spending a lot of money. You know, Ben Sherrington, you saw it with him, with Pablo Sandoval and with Hanley Ramirez, you know. We were really, st and also Ruzne Castillo. Uh, we, were, we were stuck with those 10 to 15, 20 million dollar contracts uh, that really weighed us down for like, um, our flexibility on what we would be able to do on different off seasons. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this hiring. I'm really excited about it. Um, I, I, I just had a few of those concerns, um, but I think he's going to do a great job. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.